A hot afternoon and the hostile terrain of central Madhya Pradesh. Unmindful of this, two young women winter into an exciting initiative. They are part of an initiative to green the school curriculum in one of the greenest areas of India. An area where three of the finest protected areas of India nestle. And therefore, one could assume this was an easy task. But it was not to be. The schools are located close to the triangle of Dudwa, Bandavgarh and Sanjay National Parks of India. But the schools have very little relationship with the rich natural heritage that surrounds them. The national parks were for the tourists and the schools were for the students. The divide was clear. The schools were comfortable to be rooted in their routine. Their syllabi were stuck, turning them into innovation-starved teaching shops. Not much of learning took place here. The schools offered little space for the children's milieu or context. Was it possible to liberate these schools from their four walls and from their stuffy interiors? Could the small windows of light be opened wider to let in more of real, experiential knowledge? Can the trees, insects, birds and animals of their rich surrounds enter their classroom and their curriculum to brighten up their learning environment? Could the children be helped to break out of their textbook straitjacket and experience a real-life learning? It was this challenge that stared at the two women, Ashwini and Vishakha, as they walked along with their colleagues into these schools. The combined effort of these staff from the Bharati Vidya Peet was to enhance the already present environmental awareness among the students and inspire a creative consciousness of environment in them. तो दुधवा नेशनल पार्क में भी लंबी घास है ना? है तो और कौन से वहाँ पे पेड़ पेड़ पाए जाते हैं? बाघ जो होता है किसी जगह में बाघ है। The seeds of this new consciousness that these schools would experience over the next three years were sown in 2004. The lamp that was lit in this workshop would light up the environs of these schools. The Bharati Vidya Peet Institute for Environment Education, Pune, which took the major responsibility for the initiative, set the tone for a unique biodiversity initiative into this workshop. If we look at the objectives of the project, it is really to generate awareness among local communities and schools about the importance of their own local protected areas and the biodiversity that there is within these protected areas and try to understand long-term ecological and economic benefits. This is perhaps one of the first project objectives that we thought was a very important aspect of trying to do a program of this type. The project was located on four sites in Madhya Pradesh, Sanjay and Bandavgarh National Parks, in Uttar Pradesh, Dudwa National Park and Lucknow City, the project's urban centre where the famous zoo is located. There was a need to develop the understanding that every single subject taught in the school syllabus could be greened. 
Bandavgarh, Dudwa and Sanjay National Parks in the North Indian states of Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh are some of the best known protected areas of India. While hundreds of thousands of tourists flock these places every year, there is very little effort to generate an awareness among them that these are great centers of biodiversity. This knowledge of importance of conservation of biodiversity is also very low among the local population. Past policies of the government, instead of creating a sense of ownership and love towards these parks by the local communities, have actually resulted more in conflicts. This situation threatens the very survival of the parks. Therefore, there is an acute need for steps to alter this scenario. This need was at the heart of the Beaver Initiative. Besides, the necessity to shift the focus of the parks from the glamorous species such as tiger to the larger issues of biodiversity was urgent. Rashtriya Udyan, who should we take for this? What is the importance of this for India? Not that you just look at the bark and go back. You can also see the other jungle. You can understand what it is for its role. If it is not, then there will be no water. So all these kind of things we want to bring in through the program. Where should this initiative begin? Answer to this question needed the development of a long-term perspective. Obviously, young children were the first choice in this task of reshaping the very concept of environmental education. Environment education is not to be taught from far. कि ये garden है, ये कचरा है, वो निकालो, इसमें डालो. This is not theoretical. ये practical है. Using different tools, different medias, different papers, यहाँ बाहर जाके, अंदर आके, यहाँ बैठ के, वहाँ बैठ के. अगर ये सब media हम लोग use करें, so that becomes an interesting thing. This whole new thinking and the creation of a whole set of new tools in the Beaver Initiative began with school teachers. Some of the most exciting approaches in environmental education started taking shape in a series of workshops for teachers. In this workshop in the Bandavgarh region, the teachers from the area started approaching a tree not as a tree but as an ecosystem. At the end of this process, the teachers had started seeing trees as the first link in a food chain. हम लोगों ने देखा कि किस तरीके से वृक्ष एक अकेला वृक्ष भी है तो भी वो कितना जरूरी है और अगर वो परितंत्र के जैसे अगर हम उसको देखते हैं तो उस उस साइकल में भी वो कितना जरूरी है। At the Lucknow workshop, the teachers are encouraged to understand this food chain into which all other living beings and their environment, insects, birds and animals, would link up to form a food pyramid. तो अभी ये जो हमने यहाँ पे चार्ट बनाया, ये जो हमने जैविक जैविक घटक देखे, ये सिर्फ इस तरह का जब आप बच्चों को बताएंगे स्कूल में, जब बच्चे ये सारी चीजें देखेंगे, तो उनको ये समझ में आएगा कि पारस्परिक निर्भरता और पारस्परिक संबंध क्या होता है इनके बीच में, वृक्ष के ऊपर कितनी from a tree to a food pyramid, the construction of a new knowledge had begun. When the teachers go on a field visit, these concepts are further rooted. New rays of understanding enter their thinking process.
फूल की पत्तियां हैं परंतु अन्य पत्तियां कोपले फल तथा अनाज इवन एज द टीचर्स डेवलप अ न्यू वे ऑफ सीइंग दे डेवलप अ नंबर ऑफ क्रिएटिव एक्टिविटीज टू टीच चिल्ड्रन सर आप बंदर 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 साहब This equips them to shape a fresh matrix of biodiversity, linkages between different animals and between animals and plants. Shark match be shark match. They also start articulating this new way of seeing that they had gained. इसके पहले भी हम लोग जू में आए थे, लेकिन जब टीम के साथ आए, तो वो देखने का नजरिया थोड़ा सा different था। हम लोगों ने observe किया, और ये भी सीखा कि बच्चों को अगर लाएं, तो किन किन छोटी छोटी बातों पे ध्यान देना चाहिए जैसे यहाँ तो बहुत कुछ हमने सीखा जैसे अभी हम लोगों को ये मिला है क्विज के रूप में करने के लिए तो ये गेम भी हम लोग कर सकते हैं कि बच्चे बैठे रहें और बैठे बैठे उनका नॉलेज भी बढ़ेगा ढूंढ निकालेंगे जिन जिन जानवरों को देखा मोर लाइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग फ्रॉम सी दी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन मध्य प्रदेश कम फॉर अ वर्कशॉप इट इज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट संजय नेशनल पार्क इज लोकेटेड A lot of sharing and learning takes place here. It is also plenty of fun for everyone. उठाइए कोई भी। उनको पसंद करना पड़ेगा। और नहीं बनेगा तो बात है ना। इनको सिर्फ बताना है इशारों से कि वो क्या है और आप लोग को गेस्ट करना है कि क्या है मैडम। Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Alternatives to chalk and talk are discussed. सभी जानवरों का और पेड़ों का और कीट कीटाणुओं का किस तरह से आपस में तालमेल रह, रहता है ये, ये एक दूसरे के बिना किस थोड़ा सा भी असंतुलन रह जाए तो क्या उसका दुरुपयोग होगा इसके बारे में हमने बताया था The corridors and cabins of the Bharati Vidya Peet Environmental Education Research Center go abuzz finding these alternatives. Designers, educationists, artists and environmentalists spend days and nights whipping up fresh ideas on how to liven up the classrooms with environmental creativity. Many design and media approaches take birth here and are discussed meticulously. The final outcome includes a range of media that include flip charts, manuals, activity sheets, each one contributing to the plethora of educational materials that will be used by the teachers, trainers and guides. The challenge was to take this methodology to children and link it up to practical work. The first results are beginning to be evident in the pre-middle school in Paliyakota, Uttar Pradesh. चलिए बताएंगे कि शेर और बाघ में क्या अंतर होता है। बाघ के शरीर का रंग पीला होता है और उसकी काली उस पर काली दाढ़ियाँ होती हैं। शाबाश। और शेर के सर घरों पे अला। आयाल। आयाल होता है। But this distinction between lion and tiger is not sufficient to address all the nuances of ecosystems, food chains, food pyramids and biodiversity. कोई भी परितंत्र कैसे बनता है? दो तरह के घटकों से बनता है। एक सजीव घटक होता है और दूसरा निर्जीव घटक होता है। Another class takes a step further from the tiger and lion and works towards developing the understanding of biodiversity among the children, as various birds, animals, insects and aquatic life are pasted on and around the drawing of a tree. The concept of an ecosystem becomes tactile. The concept that this ecosystem includes both living and non-living beings is also transmitted to the children. Children observe and mark different elements of a tree. Even a live caterpillar, which they would have earlier killed with glee, now becomes a valuable element of this ecosystem. Look at all of them. Yes. Where are all these things? In the village. In the village. In the village. In the village. पेड़ एक परितंत्र बताया गया था मेडम के द्वारा तो इस प्रकार से ये गांव एक परितंत्र है ये हो गई बनस्पति की बात यहाँ पर आ गए शाकाहारी जंतु ठीक है यस सर यहाँ पर आ गया हमारा बाघ शाकाहारी जंतु क्या खाते हैं A greater leap towards the objectives of the initiative is taken in yet another class where the teacher explains new concepts such as food pyramid with vegetation at the bottom and tiger at the apex. The interrelationship between the tiger and the web of life in the forest gets communicated to the children. The new methods of teaching enable the children to put the puzzles of environmental understanding together and create a new knowledge for themselves. मैंने आपको कुछ हिरण के बारे में बताया दो दुधवाश में बयान बनते हैं तो कौन-कौन से हिरण पाए जाते हैं वहाँ पे पांच प्रकार के दस the effort started by the staff of Bivier has given rise to a classroom that is vibrant, curious and alive और एक बताइए कोई दूसरा और कोई बचा हुआ है देखिए बात काकड अच्छा शावस बैठिए काकड तो ये सब क्या हो गया कपनी प्रदेश की विविधता हो गई जिसमें बारासिंगा भी है पांच प्रकार के हिरण भी है ये सब 
पक्षी भी है अलग अलग प्रकार के वनस्पतियां भी हैं और कई प्रकार की टग भी है यहाँ पे ठीक है तो ये जैविकता हमें संभाल के रखनी है Inspired by this change in their classrooms, the local teachers have also been inspired to own up the process and become more creative in their teaching. As a result, the entire classroom becomes a canvas of imagination as the children and the teachers paint their newly acquired knowledge of biodiversity. जितना नो किसका है उतने नो किसकी बनाओ। These transformed classrooms have succeeded in the original objective of opening the classroom windows to invite the outside world into them. Environmental learning has now become an activity that touches everyone's soul. Children have become protective towards all life forms around them. अब उनकी आदत में सुधार हो गया। अब वो हर जीवों के प्रति उनके बचाव की बात सोचते हैं और बचाव की बात करते हैं ये पर्यावरण का कार्यक्रम जो चल रहा है ये बिल्कुल आत्मा को छूता हुआ चल रहा है इट इज थ्री इयर्स सिंस द टू यंग वेमेन अश्विनी एंड विशाखा स्टेप्ड आउट इनटू द स्कूल्स इन 2004 थिंग्स हैव ट्रैवल्ड अनइमेजिनेबल डिस्टेंसेस इट इज अ ड्रीम लाइक सिचुएशन इन दीस क्लासरूम्स नाउ To reinforce this learning, teachers take a one-hour walk in the woods and interpret what they see in their new framework of environmental education. आपको वहाँ पे क्या दिखता है, क्या आप सुन रहे हैं, क्या देख रहे हैं, कुछ नई चीज, कुछ अच्छी चीज, तो आपको उसमें उसकी सूची बनानी है। Walking alongside them are the forest guards, whose intimate knowledge of the forests turns them into teachers of teachers. सेंटीपीड में क्या होता है जो ये जितने आपके खंडे खंडे दिख रहे हैं ना तो एक खंड में एक ही पैर होगा पैर का मिलीपीड में क्या होता है एक से ज़्यादा होता है कई बार दो होते हैं इस तरह जब भालू उसको अमलताश के जो ना ये निकलते हैं पॉड्स निकलते हैं या उसकी सेंड जो होती है इसके अंदर ये बीज होते हैं तो उसको खाता है और जब उसके डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम के थ्रू जाता है तो उसकी विस्तार से वो बाहर निकलता है ड्रॉपिंग्स के थ्रू वो जमीन में जाता है नया पौधा जब उगता है तो उसके लिए बहुत सहायता पूरा पूरा विद्यालय जागरूक है। Therefore, it is time that these teachers rise to another level. इसमें एक change of direction होने चाहिए। क्या नया क्या कर सकते हैं? अब ये situation में अब ऐसा हो गया है कि आप ही हमको suggest कर सकें कि आप ये ये भी out कर सकते हैं या ये change कर सकें। और ये एक बहुत important step है हमारे लिए। अब जो आपका एक group तैयार हो जाएगा, ये एक master trainer जैसा बन जाए। तो मैं कम से कम मध्य प्रदेश के लिए कोशिश करूंगा कि सरकार इसे जो आप लोगों को ट्रेनिंग दी जा रही है आप लोग जो तैयार हो रहे हैं उनमें से ही मास्टर ट्रेनर सिलेक्शन हो। The impact of this initiative moves out of the school campuses and turns itself into environmental affairs. Over 4,000 students from 108 schools participated in the fairs besides thousands of local community members and others held in four locations of Sidhi, Bandavgarh, Dudwa and Lucknow. These fairs were a concrete evidence of the heights to which children have been spurred. With the help of their teachers, they make their own models, design their own masks and dresses, paint their own posters, compose their own songs and put up impressive exhibits.
enact plays that are created by them to carry the message of environment and biodiversity, which they have internalized for over three years now. आप मुझे इस सारी पृथ्वी का शाद बसा भाग दे दीजिए जिस पर मैं हरे भरे वन लगाऊंगा जंगल जंगल बात चली है पता चला है अरे बाग के आ जाने से जंगल हरा भरा है the fairs were also an opportunity to quiz children, teachers and parents about their knowledge on their environment. Culminating the school initiative was the student seminar held at Pune. Teachers and students from 32 participating schools used the seminar as a platform to present the various environment action programs taken up by them. These included projects which involved data collection, analysis of the problem, finding solutions and taking positive steps within their communities to address the problem. Having accomplished a significant breakthrough with the educational system, the BVR initiative turned its attention towards the field guides who are pivotal to the park. As personnel manning the front line between the park and the tourists, the guides play a crucial role and this role needs to be strengthened. The challenges in front of these guides are massive. How does one turn a tiger seeker into a nature lover? How does one convert a tourist into an ecologist? How does one help the park visitors' binoculars trained on big cats turn towards insects and plants? अक्सर हम हमें मालूम होता है कि टाइगर एक जगह पे शायद मिलेगा। तो उस दौरान जब हम उनको उस जगह पर लेकर जाते हैं तो बहुत सारे ऐसे अलग अलग परितंत्र के बारे में उनके प्रकार के बारे में या वन परितंत्र के बारे में बता सकते हैं उसमें अजैविक घटक कौन से है जैविक घटक कौन से है These questions engaged the guides who assembled for a workshop in Bandavar and Dudwa in 2006. The workshop tried to make them understand that their job is not just pointing out the animals, but also interpreting them and their ecosystems, and creating interest in this area of knowledge. This is a huge challenge. खून चूसते हैं, ठीक है? अब सांबर उन कीड़ों का तो सफाया कर नहीं सकता, तो ये ट्रीपाई पक्षी आता है, उसके पीठ पर, नाक पर, कान पर बैठता है और उसमें से वो कीड़े निकाल लेता है और उसका खुद को वो खाता है, जिससे सांबर को इन कीड़ों से होने वाली तकलीफ से मुक्ति मिलती है और इस पक्षी को उसका Apart from finding such exciting interrelationships, it is also vital to remember that forest is not just animals, but also the habitat of millions of interesting plant species. This is the tree of particular gond jamaat. They take it to peace and take it to peace with the ladies. The guides take a walk in the woods, a walk that would change the course of their thinking. पूरा जिंदगी इसमें कम गिरती है सीखने के लिए। आप टूरिस्ट को ज्ञान देंगे, तो आपका भी ज्ञान बढ़ जाएगा। ये टनल वेब वाला है। ये टनल की तरह है ना इसका तो गुहे की तरह है। तो इसको ये गुहा और इसमें जो रहने वाला स्पाइडर है, वो अकेला रहेगा। बट वो जाले-जाले जो इसे जमीन पे दिखते In this forest, every fallen tree, 
Every trampled blade of grass, every dead insect has a story to tell. मशरूम जो है मृतोपजीवी होते हैं मरा हुआ पत्ता है ये ना इसके अंदर जो पोषण तत्व है उसको खा रहा है हाँ बहुत सारे पैर होते हैं इसके उसको इसीलिए इसको मिलीपिट कहते हैं बारिश का पानी इसमें जमा हो जाता है कुछ स्पेसिफिक पौधे जो है जो सिर्फ इसी में आएंगे मतलब ये जंगल तो पूरा एक परितंत्र है और उसमें ऐसे हजारों लाखों की संख्या में छोटे छोटे माइक्रो हैबिटेट होते हैं और ये सब मिला के जो है ये जंगल बनता है ये इसको थोड़ा थोड़ा गला देता है गलाने के बाद सेकंड स्टेज में ये आता है मॉस ये वाला हाँ फिर ये आने से और थोड़ा गला देता है फिर ये बड़े वाले ऐसे स्टेज होते हैं किसी पत्थर पे भी आप स्टेज दिखा फिर मट्टी बन गई तो ये देखे है ना फैसिनेशन ग्रो At the end of this long march into the territory of knowledge, the guides sit down to compare the knowledge freshly gained with their existing knowledge. Reinforcing this knowledge are the scientific interpretations by the experts. Lichens बहुत अच्छा indicator है pollution load को indicate करने के लिए. अगर किसी area से lichen धीरे-धीरे खत्म हो रहे हैं. तो आप समझिए कि वहाँ पे एयर पॉल्यूशन का लोड बढ़ रहा है वहाँ पे विश्व भर में लगभग सत्रह हजार एक सौ प्रजातियां तितलियों की पाई जाती हैं और उनमें से पंद्रह सौ के लगभग प्रजातियां भारत में पाई जाती हैं तो भारत तितलियों की दृष्टि से भी बहुत अधिक महत्वपूर्ण देश है After learning about the laws of nature, it is time for the guides to learn laws about nature. This is the key to their capacity to protect the parks they work in. They are made aware of the laws and acts that govern the parks. This naturally leads to the issue of management. जब management की बात होती है तो वे बहुत पहलू देखा जाता है. Habitat management एक है. Tourism management अलग है. Tourism management के तो आप भी part हैं. Apart from this received knowledge. It is time for the guides to share their own folk knowledge that is their heritage. यहाँ के आदिवासी जो हैं एक विशेष देव को मानते हैं एक टाइगर को एक देवता के रूप में मानते हैं शेष सैया एक पर्वत है जिसकी तो छठा निराली है और लक्ष्मण जी के चरणों से प्रहवत एक नदी विशाली है This amalgam of scientific and folk ecological knowledge could be a heady brew that can intoxicate the tourist into becoming a true nature lover. They have also been graded based on the exam, and their incomes are now linked to their incremental knowledge. जो भी टूरिस्ट पार्क में आएगा, जितने भी लोग घूमने आने वाले हैं, वो आप ही लोगों से मुलाकात करेंगे। तो आप ही लोग जिस तरह का मैसेज देंगे, उसी तरह का पार्क का आगे नाम होगा। अगर आपके अंदर ये बिलीफ है कि जंगल इंटरेस्टिंग है, तो आप अच्छे गाइड बन एक दिन के लिए आया है तो एक दिन के लिए आप उसकी विजिट रोचक और यादगार बनाते हैं। Over the 10 days of this workshop, the cascading knowledge in which they had immersed themselves has helped the guides grow as never before. They are now empowered to rise above the level of being just guides, but as interpreters of the park to the visitors. I think the first question we need to answer is interpretation for whom and for what. I think that is the clearest of them all. You want to do interpretation, but it is one step towards creating conservation consciousness and a strong enough lobby to support conservation. In this task of interpretations, parks as they exist may not be adequate. There are a number of things that parks may not be able to do in the form they are. The values of biodiversity and conservation that are embodied in the concept of national parks need some special elements which help in fulfilling the true intentions of interpretation. 
the interpretation center set up by the Bevere at Lucknow Zoo was engaged precisely in accomplishing this mission. After working with field guides, educational administrators, teachers and children, the last frontier had to be crossed by the initiative. This frontier was the community which lived around the protected areas. The local communities, being forest dwellers, had over thousands of years transformed themselves from hunter-gatherers to an agrarian community. Now much of their agriculture was dependent upon the forest that surrounded them. That is where they get their biomass for their farming, fodder for their animals, fuel wood for their kitchens. They have always been the children of forests. For them to be alienated from forests was an enormous deprivation. If the forests had to be protected, the people needed to be protected first. The only way to achieve this was to lessen the dependence on forests for their immediate livelihoods. This meant they needed to be introduced to other means of livelihood. Having understood this critical need, the Beaver initiatives started working on the skills already available with the communities and enhanced their design and craft value and promote their local cuisine. Women from the local community have now been trained into ethnic food entrepreneurs. Many food festivals conducted in the Bandhavgarh region have raised the profile of these foods and helped their marketing. Forest Department is a supporter of this program, providing their canteen space and other facilities. A designer from the famous National Institute of Design works with the members of the Taru communities in Dudwa and produces a variety of bamboo crafts, grass weaves. The initiative had travelled a full circle, starting with teachers and students, involving educational administration. It had moved ahead to encompass park guides and the park communities. Out of this project we have many lessons, we have learned many lessons and I am sure that the lessons will be very useful for the any development practitioners both within the country even outside the country and I am sure that uh, these models which we have uh, demonstrated is very successfully in these national parks and also the zoological park at Lucknow uh, will be replicated within India and also outside. As it moved along it expanded the environmental consciousness of each set of stakeholders. It brought in forest officials and administrators, educationists and environmental experts on board. It spawned a new creative action around environmental education. In its three years of existence, the Beaver ICEF initiative had addressed some of the pressing issues of environment and biodiversity. It had moved the agenda of environmental education from the hallowed urban environs to the rural areas around national parks where the need was critical. It had amalgamated environmental discourse with biodiversity conservation. It had changed the thinking landscape in rural schools. It had spurred rural children into becoming creative environmentalists. It had generated a thinking, creative generation of environmentally conscious people. <laughs>